guys this is your more girl coming at you today i just want to show you something real quick um you know how guys i like to do my resin um this is my actual goodwill that i bought last week remember goodwill wednesday and then i had two um other silver platters that i got they was very rustic and dirty and tarnished i just want you to know this is my final rebuild and this is not a diy just a preview so just let you guys know that other things you could do with resin as well um, resin art so if you would like me to do a quick little video you see me do furniture but if you want to see me actually do some of my trays just let me know leave a comment um, and I'll show you just basically what I use and how quickly it is done so this tray right here was very very tarnished so I cleaned it up with the right silver cream you know that's the go-to cream for your silver and I added like four different colors so and you see the metallic you see the shine on this look at that and I wanted it to match the um, tray the silver and the um, gold tone so I add silver gold tone white and gray I thought it came out absolutely gorgeous this was an experiment this is the first time I worked on um, resin paint I did the resin with the crushed glass, but I didn't do it with the um, paint. So this is my first try at it. So I thought this came out very, very nice. The second one right here, the second round platter, I did um, purple and yellow, gold, silver, and I used a green, sort of like a turquoise type ink. And you can see how it shine, and I actually hand painted the edges. I thought that was absolutely gorgeous the way it shines you could use this to hang up like a platter decorative or you could use it actually on your table this is the inks that I use for this this is called testers this is a company testers and this is like enamel ink um, the lady at Michaels where I purchased it said that they use this a lot of one touch up paint for cars I'm not quite sure I told her I want the shiniest the most um, brilliant color and a mortality because I was mostly looking for to do it like a um a gold a gilding you know but she said try these paints and I absolutely loved it inks are very very inexpensive um you can get them for like a dollar twenty nine dollar seventy nine I think I even seen some online some of the stores is ninety seven cent and it's gorgeous you know it's very bright very shimmery very shiny um let me see if i can just pull one here for you real quick so these are almost like a gilding type paint and look at the color of that see the shine on this metallic enamel and that i use for this very high shine it's beautiful colors they have multitude of colors um it came enamel and it came um almost like an acrylic type base so you guys when you go to michael's and you want to try some different paints um they were actually in a different section it wasn't in a regular paint section just ask um in your stores if you want to try this paint and it's called testers where is it located because i've never seen this one before and it was on the other side of the paint department here is another place you could use it for a tray, for your table. It's very durable. You could put your glassware on it, you know, for decorative. Or you could use it as it's just a platter. You could serve food on it. Because remember, this is epoxy. It hardens. This is probably dishwasher safe. This stuff is very, very durable. Epoxy is actually what they used to use or they still do use on like garage floors. It's still the epoxy, even though you put paint in it, and it's called resin. So this is the idea to put it as well. And you could use this as a decorative element. I just put my um, apothecary jar on it just to see <clears throat> that it's very durable. And you see how the colors really pop. I think you could really use this sort of as a decorative, or again, like this, you can just hang it up. You could probably 
use command strips and put it on your wall. I think you could use this for different things. But I thought this was pretty different just to use for your um, trays. Uh, especially when the trays, like I said before, in my Goodwill hauls, where these trays sometimes get so tarnished and rustic and scratchy. And even though you can clean the tarnish off, the, the tarnish off, you know, the scratches, they never disappear. This way you see no scratches whatsoever. And look, this actually looks like it's brand new. It was purchased from a store and it wasn't. Okay, I just wanted to show you another way to clean up your silvers from your Goodwill finds, some old silver and what to do with them. And again, if you want to try and want me to do a YouTube video on how to do it, again, you saw me do my um, furniture, you see me do my bar cart, but this was something a little different and this is some different colors. So if you want a quick tutorial on how to do this and create this beautiful abstract using resin and paint just let more girl know leave a comment i think that's gorgeous and let me know thanks guys